This is a little Hakko um, 38 watt, 40 liter per minute little air pump. It's coming down to a Y. There's two hoses on it. One hose is coming over here into my fish tank and it's bubbling the air. Very nice to a nice little uh, air tube. The other green hose, though, it's going, doing work in that it is pumping the water from this fish tank. It's down here at the bottom. It's coming out of the fish tank, goes over here to a T. What's important to know is that three inch piece of pipe goes two feet down in the ground. Then it comes up to here and we're pumping the water up into here. When the water comes up to here, tremendous amount of aeration. Now my assistant will put in the tea bag maker because not only does this pump the water up to overflow into the center bed, but watch as he puts a compost tea maker in there, the agitation that he gets on that with the air bubbling up through the tea bag, how fast it goes brown. Now that's going to fill up and when it gets all the way up to the top here, the air is going to bring it up to the top of this pipe here, which is a pipe siphon. The water is going to come across, come down, and it's going to come out here. Very similar to a bell siphon, but it doesn't need a container. The pipe on the back side there going up and over, on the back side, it goes into a pipe that will detect where the level of water is, and it will trip it off when it's time. Now you see we're getting a siphon. Now my rich worm tea water extract is heading out into the cinder bed which would normally be planted. So this one now is going to go down to the bottom. When it gets to the bottom, the air brake pipe, this pipe here, is in this pipe which comes down to here. So you take a look here, you can see how it is all around. Give you a little 360 tour here of it. Huh? And it comes all the way down and that will just super super clean up the uh the tea the compost tea out of there come down we'll get an air break she'll stop and then she'll just start filling all the way back up again and it will wash all that compost tea out of that bag into the water into a digestible solution so this is our garbage to aquaponics by taking garbage, feeding it to the worms, and then we have the worm casting goes here by having a simple little bag like this. That bubbling over the water there will just work fantastic for getting the nutrition into your aquaponics system. So out of the one little air pump, you not only get the pumping, I'd like to point out this fish tank is a 24 inch deep tank. There's 20 inches of water at it, but following the, Dr. Timmons recommendation to dig a hole down a post hole digger we went two feet in the ground so the two inch pipe connect to the three inch pipe two feet down in the ground and then we air pump it up. For those of you not familiar with our air pumps where the air comes in here in the green hose that goes into a two inch pipe and I can lift this up that is a completely separate pipe there it is just sitting inside the three inch pipe that's capped at the bottom. So this air pump thinks it has four feet of water to work with. It pumps up to here. I get my rich nutritious tea. She will fill up in this jar to the trip point here. Come down, do the siphon, and run till this air break stops it. So this just goes up and down 24 hours a day. I can put worm tea in there when I think I need it or my plants need it to add to their nutrition. So I thought you guys might like to see that.